M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. How would you like to have a full color SDR waterfall display with any radio that you own? Well, this can be done with this SDR switch device that you can see on the left. I'll show you some photographs of it. It's a neat package. On the back, you've got the SO239 for the radio, antenna connection, PTT ground, SDR connection, and 13.8 volt DC. Show you some more photographs that are provided. It's up to 100 watts and it covers 1.8 to 30 megahertz. So if you've got an older radio, this is gonna be right up your street. These cost about 50 pounds. So after the 7300 came out, everyone wanted a waterfall display, which is fair enough. You can go out and buy one, but many people still want to use their older radios. For example, the 747, um, the 817, 857, these kind of radios, and even older radios. Um, and there are many of them, of course. And many of us don't want to throw away our radios. Here's an older one here. So this device is quite straightforward to use. There is an internal switch or pin connector that you can swap for receive or to have it transmitting as well. You can use programs like OmniRig, if you've not used that before, to control the frequency and the radio whilst you're using your SDR dongle. And yes, you will need an SDR dongle, which connects just here where I'm circling. Very straightforward connection. I'll see if I can get a photograph of the inside. I mean, so what's the point of this? Why can't we just tap into the IF on an older radio? We can, but that involves soldering. And if you're worried about damaging your older radio, then this is it's not going to be as good as a IF tap, but it's, it's an option where you can use, you know, you can use these nice waterfall displays. And there are many, many different options. You've got SDR Uno, you've got this is HSDR, you've got RTO, SDR. There's lots and lots and lots of options, of different dong dongles and software that you can use for your waterfall display. But you get, you get to see the whole band. And I, and, I, and I think, you know, to be able to use an older radio that you love uh, with an SDR display and make the most of that radio, I think it's well worth it. So here's an internal photograph and you'll see inside there is actually a switcher. Just here where the, where the arrow is pointing, it says J5 usage. Dual receive when RX, when it's open, and short is normal operation. So of course I'm gonna be testing and learning this. I've never used it, but I will be soon uh, with several different radios. The other important part is this PTT line. I've just watched a video by Tech Minds, and there is a sort of RF sensing, I don't know, trigger inside this device, and it can't be adjusted. So thanks to Matt for his video on this, and I've watched several other videos as well. So you can connect to many transceivers. They actually have a, a ground PTT line terminal on the back, or you might find a different way of connecting to that, which it can be done here. It's actually marked PTT on the back, so you connect to that and then it will basically transmit when you key the mic. It's quite a simple box. As Matt said, can't, can't seem to find you know, a manufacturer. It's well made and they're, they're on, they are on Amazon. I'll put the Amazon link in. The device will turn up today sometime and I'll probably test it f at first with my 817. I do recommend you download OmniRig especially if you've got newer radios like the 991, which which does have a waterfall, but it's a bit small because uh, it's going to allow cat control. Now, if we quickly look at my OmniRig. Now, here's OmniRig here. Now, don't be fooled by OmniRig how, about, about how simple it looks because it allows you to control, cat control, the frequency of all these radios and more than one at a time as well and I'm quite new to it, but I understand what it does. You set the COM port of the radio that you're connected to, you set the board rate, which is the speed, and it will control it. And then the idea behind that is when you do use your, your software for your SDR, you can set it to not connect direct to the rig, but to connect to OmniRig first, then connect to your rig. 
So I have made a, a video installing my RTL SDR, which is probably the most popular one about. And so I'll link that in the description and then we'll, let, we'll be testing this shortly. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now, 7-3.